Hello and welcome. I am Scrapperlock and this is City of Heroes from on the Private Everlasting server. We're with our almost 7000 experience away level 35 um, Scrapper Silver Phoenix and um, what I've done is I went ahead and I made myself a level 35 endurance reducer because the power we're going to get at level 35 is going to be evasion. It's a toggle and I want to put an endurance reducer on it immediately because it's going to start dragging our endurance down. Um, we already have two toggles plus combat jump, so um, we're going to be running basically four toggles at once, so we got to make sure we've got as much endurance reduction, reduction as we can have. Alright, so Tina Chung is doing a story arc with us, and we are doing the Freak Show War, and she says it looks like Drek is trying to put a stop to some of the fighting among the Freak Show by reestablishing his street cred with all the factions. He plans to do it by ordering raids against Cray facilities all over the city. This might convince the freaks that he really is the bold, violent leader they are looking for. But it's also going to result in a lot of civilian injuries, so now we got to protect the Cray. Will I stop a freak show raid? Yes, I will. It's right here in Talos Island. So let's go ahead and select it. And we are going to level up, like, at the second we step through the door, because... Um, I believe a boss gets you about 4,000 experience or something at this level. But um, yeah, I made the endurance reduction recipe since I had it on me. I had the ingredients on me to do one. So I figured I may as well grab that now. Um, so the way this works, now that we're over level 32, you get um, powers every three levels. So 35, 38. 41, 44, and 47, right, and 50, I guess, and you get two and three enhancement slots, as you've seen, on the levels that aren't the threes, so 30, that aren't every three levels, so 33 and 4, 36 and 7, and so forth. All right, so we have to save four technicians, so here we are helping the Cray, who we know we're going to fight eventually, but they're fighting against the Freak Show, and the Freak Show are causing trouble, and... Even though we don't like the Cray, we can't let them kill people. We can't let the Freak Shows kill people, and we can't let them kill Cray. So we're going to do our regular count to five. One, two, three, four, five. No res, and now we've got oranges and red. Still able to three-shot these guys. The uh, minions, that is. And once we level, they're going to have a much harder time doing that, like, that hit to me with their fist slam, because that fist slam is a, um, an area effect, right? It's a point-blank area effect. It affects everybody around it, much like, um, my dragon's tail, and there we leveled up. And so, um, yeah, they can't they're not going to hit me as well once I level because I will get evasion which um, is the defense against that which is an AoE area effect attack but we're not going to head out to get um, to get our level up we'll just do that on the way to the next mission there's our critical strike trigger, so we have a higher chance of crits, and there's one right there. You can see now, this will be a good uh, demonstration, you'll see what it's like. This mission will be mostly on level to us, so you can see what it would be like if we went through on level mission. Super easy, much too easy for a scrapper at this level. Oh, he rezzed. Like, I don't even care, I can just sort of sleepwalk through this thing. And that's why, as a scrapper, or as pretty much any character, once you've got the enhancements slotted in and everything, it really is desirable to go up to the uh, higher notoriety. And look how fast we destroy these guys. 
not even a contest, right? Two whites? It's like, you kidding me? And I want to know if two things like the knockback and the knockdown trigger more, uh, are more likely to trigger against things that are weaker than you, and so forth. So there we go, got another enhancement. We're going to just pull these over here to separate them from the one I want to keep. And we're going to check back here for... Every once in a while you get a kidnap victim back here, but it's pretty rare. I think most of the time it's just an incorrect spawn. But you never know, so I always check it. Alright. Looks like we're clear over here. So now we're going to move on. But yeah, so now that our buffs are gone, we'll be able to see what it's like to play an even level mission against guys that don't have any particular defense against me. And it's incredibly easy when you've got yourself this well enhanced. And so this is what started happening in City of Heroes during the live game. Um, obviously, people didn't have enhancement sets, but what started happening during the live game early on is that the um, the game was fun and challenging until like level 30 or so and then you start getting this business where you're just wiping out the bad guys and they can't even hit you if you're a scrapper and so on and it just became kind of like people were like this is too easy you know and they had people you know going into missions with like four people joining them and then dropping them from the group so that they could solo a four-man mission because one-person missions were just too easy. Did somebody else res back here? I thought somebody else rezzed. But I guess not. But you see how I'm just like able to go at full speed without stopping through these missions? Oh, yeah, somebody did res. I thought so. Yeah, the freaks with the resing is really annoying, you know. If you don't, like, stop and wait, and you just move on, they will come back after you. It's kind of annoying. But... You can see how much less damage they do to me when they hit me, right? And how much more damage I do to them. Boy, every single one of these guys rezzed. It's like fighting nine guys. This guy who ran off. Mostly draining on the endurance. As you can see, health's fine. Pretty much, right? are plus ones, of course. Um, I really kind of wish that they'd been plus one when I walked in and they were all plus zero now, just so you can see how insanely easy it is to fight even level minions at this point. Did somebody respawn? I guess so. I thought I waited for him, but I guess I didn't. There's been a lot more respawning in this mission. Look again. Like, almost every single one of them is respawned. Let's look at the percentage. I, I estimated before that it was about 33%, 25%, something like that. Let's see. I 
Here's one guy. And here's another. So that's a lieutenant, they might have a higher chance. Alright, let's see. So, minion 0 for 1. Lieutenant 0 for 1. Getting lots of enhancements here. And our inspiration tray is looking pretty good. Well, let's go this way. We have another minion and lieutenant. And I love that you can just take them out in two hits. So, one for two on the minions. Looks like 0 for two on the lieutenant so far. So that is about a 25% rate. And here are the whites, now watch how easy this is. You can definitely go one, two, three on these guys. Of course, we do have the um, um, damage inspiration running. Did either of those white cons res outside? Let's see. No. What about these guys? Yes, yeah, so there's only one out of eight. So now they're not resing. There was that, well, like the one spawn where three of the four of them, I think. Resurrected, you know, woke back up. Love how you can two shot with focus G running. Especially when you crit. Let's knock him over. And this was the experience I had as a scrapper when I got into the 30s. The game did not, at the time, have a difficulty setting. And so, I just was going through fighting white cons over and over again. And it definitely made me feel powerful. But it's one of the reasons by the time I hit level 43, I think it was, that I just quit the game because it was like, it's just too easy. I could run through and do missions in five minutes. You know, you just whip through from spawn to spawn. Oh, there were some Kray standing up here. I don't think they were supposed to spawn there. They're probably supposed to spawn inside the door. So, why are the Kray attacking me when I'm saving them from the Freak Show? Could it be that they were working with the Freak Show? No, Kray would never do that, right? Yeah, right. So there's all freaks. Where? Why were the Kray there? That's strange. Alright, well, we'll take out the White Cons first. Well, let's get this guy since these guys have an aggro to me. But yeah, I just went through. Zero risk. No effort. Didn't even use my inspirations most of the time. Um against white cons, and I was like, okay, this just isn't a challenge. It's not interesting to me to just be completely unchallenged in a mission like this. Now, the reason we're unchallenged is because the Freak Show... Well, first of all, the Freak Show aren't that challenging to this character, but second of all, this mission was plus one to me, and then we leveled, right? This is a really good lesson in what it would be like with this character against white cons. I mean, look at this. They can't even do anything to me. Is my health bar even moving against the white cons? No. So part of that is the way the game is designed, is that level is, is everything, right? So a guy that's, like, plus three to you is going to be brutally hard, whereas a guy who is 
your level is not going to be as hard. And so, I guess I'm glad I fell down here. Can we please target him? It takes a long time to be able to target these guys. But, um, yeah, so everything is, devo is basically determined by level. So, um, I mean, obviously, we, as we saw, like, Circle of Thorns is... Uh, are harder for me to do than Freak Show, but everything is determined by level, and if it's a red con, it's going to be harder, a lot harder to fight, right? There, everything scales so much with level, and so that's what you're seeing there is fighting the white cons is just trivial at this point. So the game was, I think the problem and the reason it became that way is, and I mentioned this before, the game was was much more heavily tested in the lower levels and so they were able to see um, just exactly what was the right level when you go through like to say the first 25 or 30 levels and then just not that many people in beta testing got to level 35 or 40 and nobody got past it because um, they didn't have the game they didn't have the stuff above level 40 done they had they had they had launched before it was finished because they needed to start getting money and I don't object to that but the problem is they didn't test the level 35 the level 40 etc content well enough where am I going I'm going this way and because of that um, it was too easy it was easier than it should have been easier than it was supposed to be and um, and they Basically, they, there was nothing they could do at that point, right? If they had made it harder, players would have complained that they'd been nerfed, right? But that, what they really need to do, what they really needed to do was buff the villains and change the difficulty curve so that um, the villains um, got more hit points, did more damage, and had more abilities in the 30s and 40s. Make it more like the Circle of Thorns was against me, and less like the Freak Show are. But if they'd done that with all the villains, people would have screamed, because they would have said, you've nerfed my character, right? I was able to go through a white con mission without even using an inspiration, and now I've got to use my full tray against lieutenants, it's not fair, and um, people would have gotten mad. So their solution was to give us a difficulty slider, and what do people do? They just put themselves up against purples anyway, which would be the same thing as if they'd been nerfed, except people feel powerful for fighting purples and they don't for fighting white cons. All right, so we're going to transfer to the next level and we're going to take evasion. Evasion is our third and final toggle. And we get a new contact, Daedalus. I require your assistance in Simarora. Yeah, I don't know anything about him and I don't know anything about Simarora. Uh, but we do want to return to our contact. And she says, Thanks for stopping the Freak Show raid, Silver Phoenix. You and the rest of my hero contacts really went to work on the wave of Freak Show violence, but it looks like these defeats have only exacerbated the Freak's rebellious natures. I'm hearing reports of Freak on Freak violence all over town. Drex going to have a tough time keeping that madcap group together. We get introduced to a new contact, and this is Anton Simpson. And he's in Founder's Fall, Samson. And then we ask for available missions, and she says, It seems the Freak's recent defeat at your hands has really sh shaken the faith of their leader, Drek. Thought the Freak's were chaotic before, but now their inner squabbling has descended to all out war. Someone's going to have to stop the Freak Show fighting before it gets out of hand. And so I need to defeat the Freak Leaders and their crews. And now we're going to turn on Evasion, which has a different animation, and watch what happens to the AoE defense, right? We'll put combat jumping on. This is our maxed out defense. I'm going to turn on... I'm going to slot in so Evasion gives us um, plus 13.88% AoE defense. I'm going to slot in the re endurance to reduce it down. 
and if you look at their endurance costs here, right, it goes from 0.26 to 0.19 on this one, this one, right, and this one. So we're at 0.21 per second. We're almost like running two toggles, three toggles for the cost of two. So now we're going to turn it on. Ready? Here we go. And now we have all three toggles running. And our AD AOE defense is now 28. Now the reason it's 28 is because we don't have it enhanced yet. But we now finally don't have a hole in our defenses that is from against AOEs. So the freaks are going to have a much harder time hitting me with that hand clap, or whatever you want to call it, the um, hammer clap when they clap their hammer hands together. And um, we should be more defended against the freak tanks when they're throwing those grenades at us. Those are also AOEs. And against the nemesis snipers, which also shoot AOEs at you. So, here we go. And we now have to defeat the Freak Leaders and their crews. I don't think this is going to be the end. I think we have to fight the main boss by himself. But a techno beat accompanies a sick and chaotic sounds of battle. Now we're going to watch the Endurance star Bar dropping. Uh, and sadly, this is not plus one. Um, I guess because of the story arc. We're not, you know, we're, it's, it didn't... Um, it, I don't know. It should have been reset, but... It seems like it takes it, the game like until you log out and log back in to reset the um, mission notoriety. Not the notoriety, but to like recognize what level you're supposed to be operating at, which is unfortunate. So we're level 35 now, guys. Our endurance bar is going to drop a little bit, but our health bar should go up, should stay up a lot more. Should stay, should hold up better, let's put it that way. Because the area effect attacks are not going to be damaging us. Okay, so he's down. See, he missed me with that one. Because he probably only had, what, a 30% chance to hit? Something like that. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. All right, so here's some yellows. Now, I don't know how many leaders there are in here. We'll just have to see. Ah, he dealt pain. That's unfortunate. Got enhancement. One, two, three, four, five. This is going to be a really big mission, too. You can tell. I'll show you. If you look at the map. And let's knock these guys down. Critted one. Pounded the other. One, two, three. Why is this still on? I thought I moved this. I could have sworn I hit combat jump before. And there's a champion swiper. I love critting these guys. And there's another crit. 220 damage. And it's not even enhanced yet. One, two, three. Yeah, it takes him about four or five seconds to res. Notice how fast he went down, though. Four shots. Yeah, and with, with the swift and quickness, you kind of blaze through these missions so fast. He didn't hit me that time. So they're going to have a much harder time landing blows on me now. I am no longer vulnerable to area effect.
Nice. I love getting a double knockdown like that. Um, this guy rezzed. I didn't wait for him. One of the other problems, too, when you're dealing with Freak Show is just remembering which ones that you're fighting were rezzed and which ones which ones have rezzed already and which ones haven't. Like did that did this guy just knock down was he one of the rezzers or not? I don't remember. <laughs> One problem with Eagle's Claw is the animation is long enough that you can't prevent them from doing dull pain if they start it as you're starting to animate. One, two, three, four, five. All right. a good crit. Like that. One, two, three, four, five. Well, that looks like possible bosses. Nope. I thought they were, the guys talking might have been bosses, but they're clearly not. Focus G. Knock them down. There we go. Look at that. Done. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And wait till you guys see what it's like when we have Dragon's Tail enhanced. That will be amazing. But that's going to wait until after. Eagle's Claws enhanced because, and Storm Kick actually comes first. Alright, and there are more freaks over here. Haven't found any bosses yet. Alright. Let's take a knee here and just get the endurance back up. Oh, wait. He woke up. Try to knock him down. No, nope. knock him back. Yes. These guys definitely take a pounding. Alright, maybe we don't need to take an aim. We should be alright. At least in this section, and then we're going to have to run all the way over to another section. They were only yellows, so they don't take that many hits. One of the other things, of course, is their electricity does drain endurance. Oh, come back here, you. And he already res, so we don't have to worry about him. Knock down. That's nice. He's done. Yeah, the endurance bar is holding up alright. Look at that. One shot at him. With a crit. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we're finished in this section. Now we're going to run over this way. Whoa. Somebody just hit me. Must have just been a. I jumped a little far. Come on up. There we go. Uh, 
down. Yep. Oh, he's the chief. The lieutenant didn't even think about that. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we still haven't found the bosses. The thing about this is it's so fast, the martial arts. It puts out so much damage so fast that for the most part, they can't even dull pain. I mean, that guy did. But most of them haven't been. Because I'm just putting the damage out so fast and I don't even need that heal. That they just can't do anything about it. Watch. Done. 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 And that is what being a scrapper is all about. And I am totally in scrapper lock right now. My favorite part about being a scrapper is scrapper lock. Just going through and pounding. Hard to do with freaks because you have to keep stopping and waiting and counting to five, you know, to make sure they don't res. So you can't really run from spawn to spawn the way you do with say Nemesis or something. But it's still a lot of fun. Okay, let's go. Bam. And then a res. Great crit. 200 times 2. That's enough to one shot a guy. Not a player, of course. At this level, we've got about a thousand hit points. But the villains only have about 500. And that's that's it? I didn't. I didn't. De wait a minute. I didn't defeat any leaders. I didn't fight any bosses. That's really lame. Is there anybody left? Whoa. You defeated the Freak Show and brought the battle to an end. But I never fought Drek. Well, that stinks. I thought I was going to fight him. Oh, well. Contact. Yep, that's the end of the story arc. Good news is, is that the Freak Show faction war seems to be over. The bad news is that means that Drek is once again firmly... Okay, I guess you don't defeat him yet. Um, at least we've learned a great deal about their activities. Their connection to Kray is something we'll have to keep in mind, as well as their willingness to perform mercenary work. And our souvenir is a page from Schwarzwald's notebook. The Freak Show War. I thought we were going to fight a boss at the end. We really didn't. That's a shame. Alright guys, we've had a lot of fun. We've gathered up some enhancements that I'm going to sell. I'm going to sell some salvage. We have now um, back up over 17 million influence from what we've been doing. We're at level 35. There's over 500,000 experience to go to get to level 6, 36. And uh, we got our finally got our area effect defense power, which is great. And now our character doesn't have any major weaknesses. All types of attacks are now defended against. And so that's great. And that's what we want. And now we are on the road to level 38 and elude, which is the panic power, signature power, whatever, of the scrapper. So I'm going to 
uh, head out and do a little bit of shopping and salvage selling and stuff. But I'll see you again next time on City of Heroes.